Europe's modern age can be traced back to the Renaissance. A time of remarkable cultural rebirth, the Renaissance took place in Europe between about 1350 and 1600. This movement began when the writings and art of the ancient Greeks and Romans were rediscovered. European scholars saw the time before the Renaissance, called the Middle Ages, as a dark and backward time. Medieval thinkers focused on religious issues such as theology, the study of religious faith, practice, and experience. But during the Renaissance, new learning inspired by the works of ancient Greeks and Romans led scholars to turn their focus from the heavens and God to the earth and humans. Renaissance thinkers promoted three ideas, humanism, individualism, and secularism. Humanism emphasized a return to the classical study of human capabilities. Individualism highlighted the accomplishments of the individual. The ideal became a person who showed talent in many different fields. Secularism changed the focus of life from a struggle to get to heaven to advancing one's position on earth. Italy was the birthplace of the Renaissance. Renaissance Italy was a collection of city-states run by nobles. It was also the home of rich merchants and bankers who were becoming powerful in Italian society. In Florence and other Italian cities, rich families like the Medici's displayed their wealth by giving money to artists and intellectuals. This led to an explosion of new art, science, architecture, literature, and ideas. Some of history's greatest artists and thinkers lived during the Renaissance, such as Leonardo da Vinci, who drew plans for modern machines centuries before they were invented. The ideas of the Renaissance spread north from Italy to the rest of Europe. Some Europeans applied this new learning to religious institutions. In Germany, Martin Luther started the Protestant Reformation, a movement to reform the Catholic Church. Luther criticized the immorality and corruption he saw in the church and wanted people to study the Bible for themselves. So he translated the Bible from Latin into German and used the new technologies of movable type and the printing press to spread his Protestant ideas. Luther's movement became an outright break with the Catholic Church and led many dissatisfied believers to form new churches of their own. The Catholic Church responded with its own reform movement, the Counter-Reformation, which revitalized the Church. Christian Europe became split, with many areas becoming Protestant and others remaining Catholic. The Renaissance also gave rise to great voyages of discovery. New advances in seafaring and map making helped Europeans explore more of the world than ever before. In 1492, Christopher Columbus began a series of expeditions from Spain that led him, and many other Europeans, to North America. These voyages led Europe to set up colonies in the Americas and establish trade routes that brought wealth to the European colonial powers. The Renaissance also gave rise to advances in science. The astronomers Copernicus and Galileo used the Renaissance idea of scientific experimentation to argue against the church's claim that Earth was the center of the universe. And Renaissance thinkers made advances in other fields, including politics. Many decades later, thinkers like Voltaire built on this foundation to create the intellectual movement called the Enlightenment. This movement celebrated human reason, promoted religious tolerance, and discouraged tyranny in government. Enlightenment thinkers believed that government should promote the rights and freedoms of people and work to solve society's problems. These ideas led colonists in North America to break from England. and establish their own nation. All these religious movements, ideas, and political and social changes helped shape the world we live in today. And they can all be traced back to the Renaissance.